Hey everybody, welcome back to another Disney and Pixar Cars diecast review on the Anchor Cars channel. And today, we'll be taking a look at Road Rumbler Mater from the Disney and Pixar Cars on the Road diecast line. Now, Road Rumbler Mater here is probably my first complete duo set for Lightning McQueen and Mater from Cars on the Road. Of course, we here we have Road Rumbler and Lightning McQueen right here. Road Rumbler Mater already completed that duo set. Next up will have to be, of course, the Cryptid Buster Mater to complete Cryptid Buster set between those two. We already got Cave Line of McQueen. We already got Deputy Hazard Line of McQueen, which means hopefully in the first couple cases of 2024 diecast, we get Cave Mater and President Mater. But yeah, so we're here for Road Rumbler Mater. I was able to luckily find this guy at a Walmart very very nice so of course he's on the enlarged blister since he has the giant little flamethrower up top very nice artwork very unique one at that too it's got the new for 2023 logo cars on the road packaging very very nice on the back side here you got a bunch of other characters that appeared in the cars i guess lineup here we have mateo in case h griswold in numerous cases um, Adam Rodriguez, Wes Philanopus, and now Speed Cone, all a part of Case J, and of course the Quad Retorcosaur in Case K. So yeah, anyways, I'll be right back with this Mater outside of the package. Okay, everybody, see so here we have Road Rumbler Mater right outside of the package, and this guy looks phenomenal. The detail on this guy is just so spot on. I cannot wait to get the review of this guy. So, of course, he is the technically third Road Rumbler diecast released. The fourth one I was able to get in my collection, but the third one released. First being, of course, Road Rumbler Lana McQueen to the left. Then we got second being Jeremy in case H. Then we got Chief Dis, who was released in two packs case T alongside Jeremy. If you guys want to see the review of Jeremy and Chief Dis, I'll link that in the description alongside the review of Road Rumbler Lightning McQueen. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and kind of move some of these guys off screen for right now. Just so that we can focus in on the Road Rumbler Mater. Okay, so here we have him. He looks phenomenal. Definitely has a lot of weight to him as well. Wow, this guy is just fantastic. So let's just kind of get a quick little overview of his diecast. So he was seen in Cars on the Road, Episode 8, Road Rumblers. This is his Road Rumblers outfit. Basically, when McQueen and him get captured by all the Road Rumbler warriors, they basically force them to go into battle with them, in which they all get a new war makeup, which Mater here gets quite a lot, which you'll see later in the review. So yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So Road Runner Mater has a very nice, happy, smiling expression. You can see his mouthpiece is a very unique one. You can see all of his teeth, his tongue, everything extruding out as well, which I think is fantastic. Then he's got his eyelid piece right there. Now I know a lot of people say it's like probably a little too like light and pale, but this is honestly actually pretty accurate to what he looks like in the show. Like taking a look at his artwork here, you guys can see he, oh, he, and at least in the show, if I can get that to focus, has had much lighter colors, like a light blue, light brown for the rust color, which they actually really made this guy much more on screen accurate than they've done with any other mater. So, very nice. You can see that up front. Cool little expression. He's got the exposed engine, which has a lot and a lot more rust detailing to it. You can see all the black and grime and everything building up. Looks absolutely phenomenal. Like that a lot. He has his headlights, or at least his headlight up front there. Looks very cool. He has six little um, spikes sticking out the front bumper there too, all painted in black. On the side of the car, he's got probably, let me see if I could count them real fast, four, eight, 
that is B17 plus those five or six. So probably like 23, my count may be wrong, but 23 little spikes on the side of his die cast, which are all painted black with a little bit of like a stained outline around them. The back side of the car is a very nice light blue with a bunch of rust, dirt, and grime. The door is, of course, green with the more brown rust, and the front is another blue color. Looks absolutely phenomenal. And you definitely, you can definitely easily feel all those little bumps because they're like actually molded into the die cast. Also on the front of the die cast, he has his little horn here which he uses to kind of call out. Very nice detail on that too. You can see the rust. It is of course just a little rubbery plastic piece, but it definitely looks awesome. The other side has basically all the same details. The little bolts, of course this time minus the horn. It's got the bolts, it's got the indents, and a different actual paint job to the blue and rust on the back there, which I do like. Of course, his tires, yellow, brown, and blue. On the back of the car here, you can see on his tow cable, he's got the little mace, little wrecking ball with all the spikes there. Very, very nice. It's just attached onto there. He's got his little tail light pieces. He's got his little um, caution bumper on the back with the six little spikes. The inside is also painted as well. Like, Mattel really went spot on with this guy. Of course, the headpiece is much more color accurate now, too. It's got a bunch of the stains on the top there. Got all the darker spots. He's even got the window painted in on the back, which Mattel recently, or just recently, actually started to do for this guy. So, very nice. And then, of course, the main detail here is his little flamethrower up top. So it has like a little plastic piece connected to the roof. It's got a bunch of textures showing like the dirt, the grime, the green, and every little bits and pieces like the burnt pieces on this little um, flamethrower. You can see it's attached to the roof. It's got the little tube connecting it right up to the top. It's got a little handle where it kind of bends and moves. Of course, it doesn't bend and move on here, but it's very, very nice. That's got the little nozzle up front. Absolutely fantastic. That's where the fire would go, like, just kind of like that. Base made 16th week of 2023. But yeah, I mean, I gotta say, this guy is definitely one of the best die cast releases, or one of the most accurate die cast releases that Mattel has ever done for cars on the road, and any cars in that matter. Because his detail is just so, so spot on. But yeah. Anyways, that was going to do it for today's video. Thanks guys again so much for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like again. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.